I don't think it has to do as well as at least how Disney is saying Ahsoka is doing. And that leads me to our featured story of Seamless. the night. Let's get it. Come on. Seamless. Seamless transition. Man. Don't touch it. It hurts. Anyways, everybody, I want to talk about Ahsoka for a second because the numbers came out just, I mean, I saw it like yesterday and there's this like Samba TV put the numbers out saying that only like 1.2 million people watched Ahsoka in its first week on Disney+. Plus. And I was talking to a bunch of people about this and they were like, like this is this is, this is crazy. It's horrible. Like a 1.2 million viewers is like nothing for a show. If this is like back even in the 90s, they would have canceled this shit immediately. Um, so it's not good for a show. That's like much lower than everything on Disney Plus. Well, then after that, Disney came forward and said, no, guys, 14 million people watched this its first week. 14 million, which is massive. I mean, like, think about friends during when it was like at its high point, they were getting like 10 million viewers. This is 14, it's, it's freaking nuts. Then of course they'd make their whole thing, they say it's based off of like, you know, how many people are, it's like the total of stream time divided by the runtime available and that's how they get their viewership on that. But Disney never really puts this forward. Like they've asked for that. If you think about the, strag, the SAG after strike, and WJ strike, that's a big thing. They're saying like, tell us your numbers. And they're like, oh, they fluctuate, but you really can't tell you this kind of thing and they will put these numbers out there. But apparently they're saying now 14 million views. To me, I'm like, if that's true, then yes, as they're saying, it's probably one of the most watched shows on Disney Plus. It's that's massive numbers. It's a huge success for them. But like we've been watching it, talked about it last week. The third episode's out, and I mean the third episode I think is better. I think it's ish. Uh, ish you know, there's more actual getting into it a little bit more. Ish. Then again, not much really does happen in that third episode. Nothing it's happens in any quick, episode. It's like watching paint dry. I mean, they gotta make these episodes longer. It's like it's they get there, they <laughs> have a happens. battle in space. They gotta make it longer so that something can happen <laughs> yeah. during the episode. Something happens. Maybe you know? if they make no, it no, longer, like nothing, something will happen. Okay. Nothing will happen. I keep, so telling, my, like, I keep telling my wife. The, the keep, last two episodes, everything's gonna happen. <laughs> last two episodes will cram much more than they should ever cram into two fucking episodes but for the first fucking six episodes or however many they do i don't fucking know they're gonna like just slow crawl like a like a freaking lazy spider like going up your wall like it's so obnoxious i hate it so much yeah but i, I mean like i was just like get oh. to it it's star wars yeah good i mean the battle the the, the, the actual fighting or the flying stuff was i think good uh, in this and uh, the whales that was the only thing that was the, cool. The whales, the whales were cool, yeah. The whales it were looks cool. like a lot, a lot of fan service to people that are well oh, aware it is. of, of, of the, the large. Oh, it is that, that that's the thing. It's it's Ugh. it's very it's very wide, Ugh. wide of field kind of Star Wars appeal. Like, but like, do you if, want me to watch 100 you episodes of cartoons? Yeah, you freaking better get, well if you, you want to understand what you're doing. What are you doing? Screen crush. Not watching cartoons. I'm an adult. I have a job. Okay, I can't be watching a hundred yeah, episodes Sean. of cartoons. So, Sabrina, are you excited about like not even seeing no. three episodes of it? About, Sabrina, are you going? Sabrina, are you excited about this baiting me again? This did three, All the baiting. Did, did three episodes get you to like be like, okay, now I'm hooked at this show? Or could you stop today and forget about it forever? Was an and you leave the fourteen snort. million. For you. Sorry, buddy. I love a good Urkel story. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's remotely getting better, I guess, every episode. But, like, the best part of the show is Ray Stevenson. And, unfortunately, so good. he has passed. Rest in peace, sir. Um, oh. I just don't, I don't, like, his paddle one, I want to punch in her bangs. She's super annoying. Um, uh, Rosario Dawson's lack of emotion is alarming. Um, and, that continues? Uh, it continues. Oh, it continues oh, yeah. okay. the whole time. In the third episode, she does have a few warm moments <laughs> where she has like a smile and like a thing. And like, you know, I, I, I see the, the third episode is where she shines for sure. But um, I, I like even the girl, her, her Sabine, like her, her, like Sabine. her Padawan, you know, but when, she like was stabbed through and through with a lightsaber and then is just sitting there willy nilly and she's like, I'm totally fine. Hold on, let me blow up this droid's head and figure out the code or something. I'm like, you literally were just like a, 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 a minute from an organ. Like, like, how are you just up and about and totally fine? Like, it's just, I don't know. It's, I don't, I'm not That's into it. Thing. And also her line delivery as she's on the bed in the hospital is re like, she's totally fine. It's like, well, I'm sorry. I'm just going to let me finish this peanut butter and jelly sandwich and tell you what's happening. Like you should probably <laughs> feign like you might be injured just a little fucking bit, like a scotch if you could. And then also, um, the, uh, the, 
The one with the with the thong on her head, with the green hair. <laughs> That's what yeah. she's called. That's her name. Like, yeah, green hair. Goggle, thong she has goggle yeah. thong. She has like goggle <laughs> thongs <laughs> thong on, her, on her hair. Goggle thong. Yeah. There she is. That's what we call her. Ella. 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 What's her name? <laughs> that bitch on the left with her face. The one with the mask. Her face is I not think that she's green. Great. She, I was just gonna say she's my favorite part of the show. Her and Ray Stevenson. Um, they're really good. Wow, Rose, you got one picture of Rosario Dawson actually having emotion. Well, that's a happy emotion. <laughs> the the one the one on the right though can fuck herself. She's super annoying. Um, I just I don't know. I'd I'm like not impressed that. with the cast. I'm not impressed with the writing. I'm not impressed with any of it. And the villain is like meh. They they keep like throwing these like orbs Thrawn's of, coming. of Thrawn and the orbs of the guy. And I'm just like oh, it's like it feels like a lot of setup. And I know they're gonna cram everything in the last two episodes. It's gonna be annoying. Like I don't I don't know. They're I'm gonna not, come I'm at you not... with the force abilities, and it's gonna be yeah, all, all Darth Vader and like red lightsabers. Well, and, at yeah, the yeah, last, have, no, the, the red lightsabers are already here. They already have a Darth Vader type essence there. With the uh, America's his name, and it's like yeah. the people it's are saying, wrong, is it Ezra or is it maybe um uh what's the character from the video games? Death uh, Star Star Crusher Star or Star Star Killer Star Killer, yeah. Which Star I think Star might, I can see it, I can see it being everybody. Star Killer more because you know the that same actor is like getting doing voiceover in the whole thing too. But let's go to Sean for a second too, because I know Sean's been yeah. watching it too. So do you do you think Sean's it's getting like, any better, Sean, or uh, do you think that you know they've that it's a fail for Disney? Uh, again, the show should not have been called Ashoka. Uh, yep. I think it, it, it really kind of hamstrings what the expectations were and what they were going to be. I can understand having a point of view character, but having her be the, also the, the titular titer, title, char, title character, whatever. Titular she had the titular line. She I did. hate that word. I know. Whatever. Um, but like, I just don't <laughs> believe that. I don't believe that we've seen everything that we're going to see from this. I think that there are a lot of teases as to who this character could be. I actually am of the belief that it could be a live action appearance of Cal Kestis, who is the uh, Jedi uh, in the Star Wars Survivor uh, uh, series uh, video games, which is very good. Yeah. And um, I'd love to see that if that's the real thing. Or, I mean, hell, if it's Starkiller, even even more for it, too. But, yeah, I, I think Wit Wiki gets a lot of work. And uh, if that would be the reveal, great. Um, there was, uh, again, got to give it up to my boy, Ryan Airy over at screen crush, but he noticed this in all the other star Wars, uh, shows, uh, in the title sequence, they do those quick flashes of the helmets. And usually a blue light signifies a good character. A red light signifies a bad ca character in yeah. ah Ahsoka Merrick or Merck, whatever the hell we're calling that guy with the, yeah. the cage. You don't know who the hell it is. He gets a blue light and Sabine gets a red light. Uh -oh. oh, so I think I think some shit's to happen. And again, like everyone, you know, everyone being Sabrina uh, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> um, has crit has criticized, uh, um, uh, you know, a a Soka. Rosario Dawson's performance. Thank you. Yes. Um, I still You're think welcome. She's actually... even though you threw me under the fucking bus. I never. Th there's no bus. <laughs> This uh, all I'm saying is that's a long ass bus. That's not a fucking bus. school bus with There's all no the children bus. on it. <laughs> all I'm saying is I think where they're leading to, and maybe we're gonna get some flashbacks, like what happened between you know, when we saw Ahsoka younger in Clone Wars and even in Re in her brief uh brief uh, uh you know experiences and rebels or whatever like something obviously happened to turn her a little more serious a little more dour could it be the massacre of her fellow clan mates in the jedi who's to say um but you know easy uh, tiger sounds, what? sounds like you have an opinion i do have an opinion uh, I, again, <laughs> I, I I think all of the maybe all the of... massacre of her entire <laughs> race of people. Maybe Who knows? some about Who knows? Just saying, we don't know. We don't know. Could be the death of the Just speculation. Just speculation. It could have made it a little more serious. Um, all I'm saying is, like all of the Marvel, uh, all the Disney Star Wars shows have been slow burns. This is just how it goes. We get through the middle bits, and then all of a sudden the season's over. We're like, oh fuck, it wasn't worth it. And like we're expected to, to have a new, you know, uh, uh, feeling when the next one comes out. They all haven't been great. 
I still think it's great that we're getting to see these new stories and they're filling in the gaps. Like, you know, imagine a timeline of the movies and now it's just like things are getting slotted in and explaining things and expanding the universe in cool different ways. Um, so, you know, uh, give it time. I'm, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I, you know, Tuesday nights, what are we going to do? Taco Tuesdays, uh, go walk, go watch Ahsoka, you know? <laughs> yeah. So. I think doing. the most interesting part about it is that Sabine's a Mandalorian. That's the most interesting part about it to me. She's a rocket. That's, that's a, that's a cool twist. She's a she rocket at her yeah. heart, you know. She it Jennifer Connelly can it's shoot into the fucking moon. Just fucking <laughs> what if it was like, Jennifer Connelly? Face, no problem. Oh my That'd be great. god. Uh, and Michael <laughs> Fassbender while you're ahead of and Michael Fassbender sure maybe Michael Mike. Foss, uh, yeah Mike. maybe it shows up as Thrawn I don't know I don't know <laughs> okay uh, so that, Mike, that's actually a serious point penis. If, we're talking, yeah. if we're talking about Michael Fassbender as Admiral Thrawn I, I, I know fuck all about about all of the the, the latest Star Wars propaganda is what i'm gonna call it (laughs) um uh what i what i mostly remember is uh you know being in eighth ninth grade and reading uh the timothy zahn series of of star wars sequels in which case admiral thrawn was the the big nasty and he was scary af and he had blue skin and he had red eyes and I really don't remember a lot of specifics, but I do remember that he was nastier than the emperor ever was. So, uh, if I, all I've seen thus far in terms of Ahsoka is uh, is the forty minutes that I watched upstairs before I came down here to record this episode. <laughs> That's all I got for you, Brian. Like nothing happened. I, I presume yeah. that something is going to happen. Like. I think that Sean's take. Wait, wait, Sean's take there. Thank you. Yes, I'm over here. <laughs> you're, you're over there. Okay, I'm over, over here. there. Over there on the east coast. The um, thing is weird. It's hard to do. It is hard. Yeah. Yeah. He's right yeah, here. I, I, let, let, let me you're refer to people that know better. There's no baby Brian's Yodas yet. Like, bring out the yeah. baby Yodas. Mm. What am I? Why am I you even watching? Grogu's. There aren't Grogu's. Grogu's yeah. is what oh. I really care about. Yeah. Yeah. Give me, give I, I do think that it's we're starting to get into where we're going to go with this story now. It's like the first two episodes really are establishing, reestablishing for people that maybe watch Rebels or maybe for people that have never heard of them before, like establishing these characters. And Excuse and me. I'm getting getting into it. Like, I, I, even though, like I said, the third episode, not a lot happens, but that battle is kind of setting the tone for where we're going to go for this. And of course, I have an idea. I think that the writing is on the wall with the whole like, you know, they're having the whole arc that's going to probably get Thrawn back and we're going to bring him in. And we're going to have the huge battle. And, and then all the different, like the council is like, or the, all the senators and stuff don't understand that it's real. Then he'll pop up and then we'll have a huge battle. And that's going to lead into the movie, I think, for that, that actually Dave has been writing. So I think that that just makes sense to me. But I like where it's going. I did like this a lot better, this third episode. And like, yeah, it is a little boring. I thought at the beginning, I thought the same thing. That first episode, I was like, okay, I get it. There's a lot of slow pace, like Sean said. It takes time to get into the story. And I still think Rosario Dawson can be given a little bit much, a little bit more, a little bit more. That's all I say. I, everybody's saying that. Is, but is the fighting like super slow or is it just me? I love her, but I think it's, you know. Well, she was in space this time. So yeah, no, I mean, that was fine. I was fine with her fighting lack space. Of gravity, though. I was fine with that. Yeah, that was also annoying. It's like she could land on the ship, but she, cool. she could still float. Like, I I, that, that doesn't make cool. sense. <laughs> but those lights, super space. But why was she able to land yeah. on the wing of the ship? Magnets. I I Boot was... Magnets. Magnet boots. But, the force. Okay, but she did a, it was the force. She did a, He's read a comic she did a flip book, and book before. And landed on it. He has answers. She for did a this flip and landed on it, and all of a sudden she was like floating in space. I'm like, this is not. Con- this is not. Well, that's because that's because he clipped her a little bit because the explosion. So the explosion knocked her right, away. But when she flip. did her aerial uh, cartwheel, she was able to land on the ship. Magnet boots. And the force. Oh, so the magnet boots so, like, are really super strong, but not I mean, strong enough to get her from the wing. Not strong enough to get her from the wing. So Listen, we've all, all need. we've all watched Gravity, okay? We know what happens when Sandra Bullock is up there. She's and activating she the dies. force. It goes wrong. She, she activates the force. George Clooney's. And she's, George Clooney's a force ghost. And yep. it's, it's Gravity right. is actually right. a Star Wars Correct. movie. That's what I figured it out. That's it. Directed by Zack That's Snyder. Oh. Shit, was it? You've, no, it wasn't. That'd be hilarious. That'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? I'll, It'll be. I, I, think, I would watch it. 
I think the You're 14 million fired. is interesting though, the <laughs> fact they said this, because if that is true, if there was 14 million people that watch this, that means Disney might have been lying about their numbers for a long time to their actors and their writers and everything like that too. If it's real, 14 million seems insane to me, but if that's yeah. real, like, damn guys, you kind of let the cat out of the bag and what you didn't think you were doing because you're doing PR, people are like, trashing on your show and you give us the real numbers. If it's real, like, there's a reason we having this strike right now. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Maybe it's lying. Like, yeah, who knows no, it, what these people are saying. They're all lying. They're we all haven't lying. had that. Dis- we haven't had the actual numbers discussion at all. Fourteen million, Ever. like twenty yeah. years Again, ago, really? that would have been nothing. That would have been like number six in the <laughs> Nielsen rating, right below so, Home Improvement. Well, yeah, but, 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 but you were, but you you were like, saying, I know. But that's because that's because people don't watch regular TV anymore. Yeah. Like that's the thing. So well, like, the right, old viewership right. numbers are skewed, and like we haven't come up with a new business plan for that. They had like, a week, which is they part had a of the reason that, that we're striking. Million. But also, right, but there's no point. one that's obtaining that number. There's there's right. no third party that's saying, oh, okay. Right, like it. The, yep. the Nielsen numbers here's, are Here's how many. That, that That's one of the things that, uh, is it SAG wants or the Writers Guild wants? That, that they both want them, yeah. Way, a yeah. Defined, a defined, yeah. A defined metric for what is a view. Trans- like, how do we compare Transparency. this thing? Transparency, oh. exactly. Oh. <laughs> But we need a T-shirt. Transparency. <laughs> transparency. With all of our okay. IPness, we need transparency. <laughs> Bands off our bodies. Uh, okay, people. I'll stop. I give it up. But, Mash um, had 106 <laughs> million viewers. That's that's what I'm yeah. saying. So 14, 14 million, like it's not that interesting. 106. Damn. Right, but the thing. I mean, yeah, but so that Brian, was back when Brian people had to watch fucking TV. There were four right. channels back then. Yeah. And Brian, yeah. Brian mentioned Friends, right? Yeah. So he mentioned Friends. Friends was like not in an era of streaming, right? And Friends was on a specific time. So for 10 million people to watch your show at a specific time on a specific day is monumental. For 14 million people to stream your show whenever the fuck they want, not as monumental. No, it's not. Oh, no, that's a week. Mean? That's one, a whole week. Yeah. One day we're that's talking about saying. before, you know? One day. One day, one time slot. One day, one time slot that's that's something to celebrate like this is like i mean I, i'm not saying it's bad I'm, it's it's good but i guess I, but my point is, is that the scale is different the yeah. skew is different it's, it's a different, different fucking thing it's better than 1.2 million which was what people were saying so i don't know if it's uh uh you know it's, a, it's like somebody just saying throw it out there for good pr stuff or if it's actually real yeah. who knows it, it's a but bigger conversation should... we we, yes. we massively yes. derailed that whole conversation yes. like we always, the actual yes. serious <laughs> conversation that that's how we roll happened. i know but Sorry. you know that's the thing. Cruise like, control. We, we, oh, that's cruise the control. control. Mm, it's hump day. Think, though, <laughs> it's hump day, everybody, and I think that Ahsoka, Ahsoka will around. probably. It's the last hump day of the year. The last hump day of the year. <laughs> <laughs> so you never know what we're gonna talk about. We've gone way over, everybody. But thank you so much. Like, we'll see what happens with Ahsoka. I have no idea. I hope it gets better and better and better. And hopefully, we're really happy that the end and it does give Star Wars a new life. But you know, I think it needs honestly, a new life. The life is never ending. It's like literally, it needs, it needs to be killed. I think. Needs, I mean, we need the force is strong with this one. I hope that's all I'm saying.